We have Assassin's Creed Shadows official gameplay overview trailer. Let's go to the video. Yeah. Hi, man. One thing we really wanted to, to do at, at the start is deliver on a uh, great player fantasy. And as we started diving, we had two emerging player fantasies that were. Wait, is awesome. that uh, is his name Yasuke? Samurai. What we didn't want is. I'm to using him more, I can't lie to you. One fantasy. We really wanted to explore both sides. So that's something where we said, well, we need two characters. The setting that we had, the Isuchi Momoyama period in feudal Japan, was such a nuanced time. So it was really interesting to be able to work with dual protagonists and develop these two characters as individuals. Yeah, I'm definitely using him. We really had the opportunity he, I don't, he just to seems explore more cool. this era by playing off these two different perspectives. As we worked our way through it and and came up with a dual protagonist, it became very what's clear. The, that what's Maui the girl's name? Is the stealth character, and Yasuke is the fight character. Oh yeah, bro, Yasuke. Speed is so and cool. agility on one side, then brawn and strength on the other. They differ in every possible way we could make them differ. A blade in the shadows. Our shinobi Nawe is the Nawe? imagined daughter of a legendary okay. Egan shinobi, Fujibayashi Nagato. And up until this point, she's actually been quite protected from a lot of the horrors of war that, that have been going on in other parts of Japan. So this is going to be her first real taste of, of what lies beyond, and it has a profound impact on her. I wanted to have the stealth as a, a core pillar in the Assassin's Creed Shadows. There we'll recognize the, the classic Assassin's Creed experience in Naoi, but we adding a lot of things that make her super I mean, she's unique. Cool. So like, she's she looks the cool, best like, assassin ever. Yasuke we wanted Naoi to be extremely menacing. fast, efficient, acrobatic. We've worked a lot to make sure that she has the coolest, most spectacular parkour we could give her. Okay, now that was hard. She's in tight corners. She can go prone, meaning that the character can go underbelly and just crawl around in the dirt and disappear That's it. from view. That's nice, though. Ooh! We really wanted to leverage all the light elements that come with our new tech and use it in a core way for our shinobi fantasy specifically. So what that means, at night, you have to read the environment and hide in the pockets of shadows that are cast naturally in the world. And that affects how NPCs can see you and if they can sense you at all. Also, bro, she can actually hide in shadows. We want the like player actual, to experience like actual shadows. the feeling of being the predator. So you feel like a ninja, you can break light, you can vanish in the shadows, and you're flipping on roof with the physics-based grappling hook, so the stealth is more rich than So ever. she's more of a and hunter. you really feel okay. that she's like a blade in the shadows. She's more of like a hunter. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yasuke is our first historical protagonist in Assassin's Creed. What we know about Yasuke historically is just a bit, but it was enough to get the team really excited about the opportunity to work with him as a character. He can fight his way out of anything, but he's also super smart and can think his way through things equally as well. And Bro, he's built like Brock Lesnar, I like always it. always has a commanding presence. So especially in combat, it's when we think about Yasuke, it's really about dictating how the fight will go. And to do Ooh, so, we well, created a mechanic called oh, the Postula. Look at the combination! You can chamber an attack, and then you can launch that attack to do massive amount of damage and take oh out anyone. Goodness. Oh my goodness! Yasuke is very, very strong. He can barge through reinforced doors. He can lift heavy objects that now he can't. But that means that he's somewhat slowed down yeah. compared to now. Of course, yeah, of course. <sighs> that hurts. On the ground, that's where he shines. Yes, sir. Stronger together. I wonder if this game had co-op. That would be crazy. We have uh, two characters who have such different gameplay styles. So for every situation, every gameplay moment you're going to encounter, you really need to think through everything uh, from these two perspectives. Blood must be paid in blood, Yasuke. Oh. We always want to respect player choice, so you can do quests with any character. So if you are Yasuke, you play with his strength, but also with his weakness. Same for Naoi. Each oh. character has their own skill trees, but also they can master the different weapons. So it's not that just about stats, it's about the player competency to really understand how the different mechanic works. They have different speeds, they have uh, different HP, they have different gear sets. So they're very unique uh, and they're a great balance of oh two goodness. player fantasies. So everything about them is different. Okay, cool. It's not even the, the same most HP. The exciting okay. part 
of having our dual protagonist is the distinction and the fact that they don't really overlap. Narratively, they have common goals and they are aligned on what they want to do, but the way they go about it is drastically different. Sometimes playing that way, even if you're very good, you'll hit a wall and some enemy is going to kick your ass. Oh, you go, wow. You know what? Let me switch. And the same is true Ooh. for Yasuke. Sometimes you'll get a set up, a couple enemies are high on rooftop that you cannot quite reach and having to go, you know what? Let me switch back to Naoi. And having this push-pull that players get to experience of which characters is good in what situation, it gives us lots of levers to play with and try to break the mold. I think is the most fantastic thing we've achieved with our dual protagonist from a gameplay perspective. Okay. Is that, is that it? All right. Assassin's Creed Shadows, I think coming out what? November, I think? Yeah, November 15th. Okay. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. First of all, like, we've never even had this before. We never had, like, the two-player Assassin's Creed thing. We've always, like, you know, had, like, like one character. We've always, like, controlled, like, one character in the game. And now we can, like, you know, switch characters like it's GTA. And to be honest with you, bro, that's, like, a, that's a really new, like, mechanic that I really like. Especially, like, if you put, like, this mechanic in, like, like in a lot of more games, I would love that a lot. Now... Let's talk about like the actual characters. Now, the guy even mentioned in the video, I think his name was Charles. He mentioned in the video that uh that Yasuke and how do you what was her name? New 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 Bro, it's like bro, I'm gonna call her New. All right, I'm gonna say New and Yasuke. Now, to be honest with you, I'm gonna go off of like my personal like who I'm gonna pick off the gate. And then I'm going to, like, discuss, like, you know, the the, uh, the differences and, like, the similarities or whatever. So, like he said, the similarities is, like, narratively, like, like story-wise, whatever. They have, like, a lot of, uh, like, like, they have, like, a lot of similarities or whatever. Now, the differences is, like, obviously in, like, you know, like, the combat style. So, basically, she's more of a, like, you know, in the shadows, you know, more, like, she's more of, like, a, uh, she's more of, like, a, uh, of, like, a hunter, if that makes sense, you know. Uh, she stays out the way until, like, you know, until it's time to attack. Uh, my boy Yasuke, bro, he's coming through, bro. He, bro, he's busting through doors. He's, bro, he's swinging his katana everywhere, bro. He's coming, he's coming to kill. That's just what it is. And I like it. Listen, I like that more than like the whole, like you know, than like the whole like predator like type of like you know uh, vibe because I think that's just who I am. Just, just more, just like in, in like video games or whatever. I, I just like just go after it. I don't really like you know sit there and just like you know and wait for it or whatever. I, th I just think like. Me personally, like even in like Call of Duty, even in like these other games, I'm more of just like a rusher. I'm not really one to like sit back and wait for the guy to come through or whatever. And but we all have like different type of play styles, you know. Um, but yeah, he's he's definitely like my type of like you know character because like bro, he's coming through, bro. Uh, even though he, you, even though he like if he jumps off a building, whatever, and he lands, it's gonna hurt. Even if he's like you know much slower, whatever, bro. Uh, he's definitely more powerful. But then you know you go over to the girl, and the girl, bro, she's quick. Uh, she's more of a predator, you know, she can actually hide in the shadows. It was actually a part of the gameplay um, that I actually reacted to of Assassin's Creed Shadows, I think like a month ago, where she can actually hide in the actual shadows. You get, like, so like, for instance, let's say I'm standing there, right? And there's a shadow behind me. Bro, she can hide in my shadow, bro. It's crazy, bro. Like, she can legit, like, like hide in shadows and she can, like, literally, like, become invisible, basically. It's crazy. So, uh, she's very quick. I've also seen... Uh, I think we actually react to uh, like a little like a little piece of gameplay where she actually went underwater or whatever. Um, she was really hiding whatever, and that's when she actually assassinated. Um, was it like the president? I, no, it wasn't the president of something. It was like the leader or the president of something. But like, bro, like seeing how like easy it was for her to like you know be undetected and like sneak up on the guy and stab him really quickly. Like the assassination wasn't just like no. Uh, like no Call of Duty Wars on assassination. The assassination was just like a, was a straight, just like you know, like a thing to the face. Obviously, she got the knife, so she could just cut through. And uh, like yeah, I can't lie to you. Like she's she's quick. She's she's very like the hunter type. But I can't lie, bro. I might have to go with Yasuke, bro. Yasuke, bro. He's more like my type. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, we brothers or whatever. So. Uh, <laughs> So, um, bro, bro, he's more powerful, bro. He just wrecking through everything. I like that a lot. That's that's just like my type of uh, like type of like you know uh, style or whatever. But comment down below, man. What character will you guys be using in the game? The game comes out in November, November fifteenth, you know, to be exact. And uh, man, I cannot wait for this game to come out, man. Um, but let, but here's the thing though. It, let like I'm not just gonna like pick Yasuke every single time. I'm gonna try the girl, out, you know, too. It's just like if I'm being honest with you, like if I had to like choose, you know, to you know what character you know for me to play first. 
I got to go with the boy Yasuke. Because why not, bro, bro? He's more of my play style. I, you know, I like the, I, bro, I love the armor, the uniform, whatever. He's looking nice. So, uh, comment down below, man. What do you guys think about this? And, bro, comment down below. Which one, are, like, if you have to choose, what's the character are you guys picking first? And uh, see you guys later. Bring some out. And peace.